Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Portal 2. Let's begin this recap. I've been going through it seems like the underground of the testing facility, which seems to be a testing facility on its own. <laughs> and our friend, the Australian, has betrayed us. <laughs> And Gladys has been stopped. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. <laughs> no, I guess I just need to get as much as I can. Okay, so something's gonna stop me from there. I can't do it that way. Okay, that doesn't work. Did it? Okay, let's see. Ah. I can hunt. Ha! Easy enough. Uh, telling them, keep your pants on. 
All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Up there. It worked! Woo! Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh! Something right there. I need more of this dust or white walls or whatever. Oh, I'm an idiot. Clever, clever. But not that way. But, but now. this. This is annoying. <laughs> get to it.
Oopsie. here. Look up. Oh! If you're hearing this, it means okay. you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Ha, ah, Queen did. I need to get up there. Um. Okay, and then I gotta get that thing off there again. Ah! Why? It's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out? Because you are fire! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. I like this person. The <laughs> Italy. Parking lot, car, goodbye. Yes, I like him. <laughs> At least he appreciates the work I'm doing. I don't know who it is, but at least he appreciates, even if they're pre-recordings. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> yes, I'll be my mic. Um, Door's right there, it says exit. Oh my goodness, I'm trapped in here. These stupid one way doors. Alright, um. Uh, where am I trying to launch myself?
in it though. Okay, let's see. I keep that doesn't work. What do you want me to do? over here. It just hit me right there. The exit right there. Think of this. Gravity is evil. Oh! Understand what I was how I'm supposed to get both these. I'm gonna have to actually make it. A Look at this! Why am I so stuck?
Huh. What the? Got it. Now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh! No! No, 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 no! What the? Mm. I don't even know how I'm able to get that. Okay? There we go, finally. Oh boy, I did not like that. Let's get out of here. Come on. What? What? What am I missing now? That was annoying. The control room is right there. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. I want up there. And I screwed up. Trying to get there. Okay. Hopefully this. Oh. Okay. Right there. Can I go in here? I want to check this place out. Hmm. Nope. All right. Huh. 
Ha uh, ha, I'm in the control room. that's going to end this episode. Um, it ran a little bit longer than I like. If you like the episode, please give it that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and comment below. Um, I am starting a couple new series. Um, one of them, I, the episode's already up, is the uh, Resident Evil. Um, and another series, which I'm probably going to have to make 18 or older, um, it has uh, quite a bit of fan service. And a little sleazy for kids to be watching. So, um, if you're 18 or over, look out for that! <laughs> Goodbye, YouTube.